Welcome to Think Tech. We are raising public awareness about technology, energy, diversity, and globalism. This show is center stage. I am your host, Donna Blanchard, proud managing director of Kumukuhua Theater. And we are coming to you live from Pioneer Plaza in the heart of downtown Honolulu, very near Kumukuhua Theater. I'm excited to tell you that my guest today is a, a bit of a departure for me, and we're going to be all over the table in our discussion today. She's Dr. Diana Joy Ostroff. She's a doctor of um, naturopathy. I have to read this because it's not in my normal wheelhouse. Uh, licensed naturopathic physician, doctor of traditional Chinese medicine, a licensed acupuncturist, and she works with the Center for Natural Healing. Welcome, Dr. Diana. Joy Ostroff. Hi, Donna. Hi, Dr. Ostroff. I'll just say Diana. that. It'll be Diana. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll do that. And um, I just want to say the reason you came to my attention is because your very talented son is starring in um, Billy Elliot at Diamond Head Theater right now, and yes. we are gonna we are gonna talk about him and get into that a little bit. But when I was interested uh, introduced to you by um, Crystal Kwok, who also has a show here, she. She said, yes, she's Billy Elliot's mother, and then had a little bit of information about you, and I thought, oh, well, I would like to talk with her, oh, too. Thank That's you. very, very Wonderful. interesting. So thank you for being of here. Course. Taking time My out pleasure. during your busy day. Um, so let's just dive right into this. You... Um, do you own the Center for yes, Natural Healing? Actually, I founded okay. it in 1989. Okay. We're 27 years in practice. Oh, wow. The Center for Natural Healing started in a very small um, structure, and we've expanded. We have um, several people working with us and for us, and we're, we have a very large center in mm -hmm. Aina Haina. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And. What made you want to start that? You had did you did you already have an MD? No. So I my specialty is naturopathic medicine. I was originally not planning on being a doctor, um, but I had health problems, and I was convinced that health and medication did not were not a fit. Like I didn't understand how medication could create health. Mm -hmm. So I was looking to figure out how to create health within myself without medication. And I uh, was introduced to naturopathic medicine school in 1982. And it, it was all, that was all over. It was all over. And that was exactly what I wanted to do. And I pursued um, higher education for 16 years. I went 10 years to alternative medical schools, oh, naturopathic, wow. Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and studied all around the world uh, with top doctors in the field of alternative medicine, biological medicine, biological research, oh. and um, the quantum medicine to learn what really heals the body. And that's what I teach my patients now. Very interesting, quantum medicine. I have a... Um I have a nephew who's a doctor. Hello, Noah. I have to <laughs> say that uh, we, he lives in Michigan, he and the family. So I've gone back to visit the family, and uh, there are little kids. I have great nieces and nephews who I absolutely adore, but they have germs I'm not accustomed to. So f after I moved here, the first several times I went back, I got sick. And that's mm -hmm. no way to spend your no. vacation time with your family. So I went back um, for a visit, it was a couple of years ago, and I decided I'm going to take my vitamins religiously while I'm there, leading up to it, and you know, maybe this is a good practice, I'm going to do this. So a multivitamin and some supplements, and um, you know, calcium, stuff like that. And so I took those vitamins religiously when I was back, and my nephew said, you know, and I said, you know what, I didn't get sick this time. And he said, you know, Aunt Donna, there's nothing that proves that vitamins work. But for, for that, and I said, I'm proof that this worked, whether it was happened in my brain or my body. It, it isn't really the point for me, mm -hmm. and, and so um, to, that's what I think of. That uh, uh, placebo effect is what I think of when I when I hear the term uh, quantum wellness, quant because it is 
it, it happens because we believe that it happens. Well, that's part that of true? it. Um, actually, I work more with cell, cellular physiology. So whereas thinking that your vitamins are going to help you may, may make your vitamins help you more, um, but actually the kind of work that I do is, actually, is to heal the cells within the body, to heal the cell physiology, to heal the organs, to strengthen and repair any dysfunction, any imbalance that's going on with whether it's hormonal, whether it's digestive or immune system related, whether it has to do with nervous system function or, or reproductive energy, but rather than just think, to think is create, yes, that's part of it. Um, I'm talking more about actually restoration and, mm. and finding the cause of the problem and addressing it. In this situation like what you're describing, there could be so many factors. Maybe the kids weren't sick. Mm. Maybe it was a different time of year. Maybe your system wasn't overloaded with microbes. Because um, also I'm of the firm opinion that we don't catch a cold. We, we make a cold, so our body is going to either create health within its, its system or create disease. And when it gets to a point of saturation where it can't take any more toxin in, then it's going to have to release and eliminate. And that's a cold, and that's a discharge, and that's okay, because that is the way the body gets rid of what it doesn't need. So I just have a different way of thinking about okay. things, you know, and I look at, at nature as the, the way that everything happens, you know, it's through nature. And that, that's why, in, in, according to my theories and understandings of what I've learned is that um, rather than to alter the chemistry of the body or to treat a symptom with an agent, let's support the healing properties within the function of the person's physiology to help bring about healing from within. So we're not just treating a symptom, we're addressing the cause and treating the person. Awesome. So Good. that's more of a holistic oh. mindset. Good. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because ever since that happened, I thought there is a lot more to this that I, that, that I would really like to learn about. So where do you begin with a patient? A uh, comprehensive interview, a, a, a diagnostic workup, a, a consultation. I have different kinds of diagnostic equipment in my office to find out how the cells are working. I use tongue and pulse diagnosis to be able to assess what's going on with the, the strength of the organs. I can look, I can see so much from the way a person stands, the posture, their skin tone, their complexion, what their eyes look like, their expression, the, you know, so their fingernails. So when I was in school, <laughs> we were taught that if we can see someone that's 200 feet in front of us, walking down the sidewalk, we should be able to know on some level what that person is experiencing mm. just by the way they carry themselves. And so, you know, do we need all kinds of fancy diagnostics? Yes, sometimes we sure do. But there's so much that can be done just by inspection, just by seeing a person, talking to a person, learning what's going on with them and figuring out what needs to be addressed. What needs to be addressed typically in people? Their, the basics are their insides, their, their digestion, their ability to absorb nutrients. So it's great to take a vitamin. What if your body is not able to absorb the nutrients? Then we have to be able to assimilate the nutrients. We have to be able to utilize those nutrients and we have to be able to eliminate the, the toxins or whatever doesn't need to be there. Otherwise we accumulate, whether it's in fat, whether it's in lipoma or cysts or tumors or you know, other things, plaque or things that clog up the system. So if there's, an, it, you know, it's about cellular health. So every cell needs to do two functions properly absorb nutrients and eliminate waste. So we need to be focused on those two responsibilities for all the cells of which there's about 70 trillion cells in the body. And they all have those two functions. So if we can just work on those aspects of it and with every cell, including the nervous system cells. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I have to say on the elevator ride up here, you said, oh, you look, what did you say, bright or... So you look bright and radiant. Very uh -huh. nice compliment. Right. Oh, so are you diagnosing? No, 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 <laughs> I don't do that. No, I, I really it's expression it, too, <laughs> expression too, because you know how you can see, you can see and feel energy. So everything has an energy, a person has an energy, you can tell when someone's glum 
or mm. blue. You can tell when someone's depressed or anxious or uptight or unhappy or when they're suffering. And um, I think I was commenting more on your glow, your okay. beauty and your glow. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. I don't, I don't do a, a summary unless I'm, I'm being paid. You <laughs> gotcha. unless I, right, unless it's a, per, a professional thing. Gotcha. I, don't, I, I have to step outside of that role as well and yeah. be a person. I'll tell you what, it's really interesting as um, an actor, as an acting teacher, I am always looking at exactly what you're talking about. If someone's walking down the street, you can tell something about how they feel, mm -hmm. what kind of day they're having, what, you know, just how well they are doing in life. And that is something that we bring to the stage that you need to be able to put on to bring on this mm -hmm. or, or uncover as mm -hmm. the case may be. So we're looking at the same things. I'm not really looking at someone's nail colored right. <laughs> to uh -huh. see how they're doing. But I absolutely I tell the story in my acting classes all the time of walking into Pioneer Plaza here one time and before I even came into the building there were two men having lunch and I couldn't hear anything that they were saying but I could see the way they were leaning into each other or not and I knew from the moment I saw them one of them was a salesman and the other was not buying what the other guy was right. trying to sell so 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 much comes out of us yeah. through our bodies and only what is it like 15 percent of our communication is actually the words right. that That's we're so saying true. yeah I think it's that lean in or lean out it's like oh I'm yeah. interested no I'm not it's right? a big in how we yeah. mirror mm -hmm. someone else yeah right yeah um, okay, so we use, we, we use some of the same tools in uh, our, our different professions. When you are, when, usually when people come to you, um, if I go to see my doctor, it is because it's my annual checkup or there's something wrong. Right. Um, when are people coming to see you? That is such a great question. People come to see me when there are many things wrong. So because I don't spot treat, I don't um, just have someone come when they have a headache or they may come when they have a headache, but typically someone that has a headache, they're going to try the pain pills or they're going to have already seen their doctor. Um, but usually when people have started to have a lot of things wrong with them. So things start to snowball, you know, they have the fatigue and the low energy and they get headaches or migraines or monthly problems or, you know, problems with reproduction or problems with bloating or things that just might go un untreated, maybe something like fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome where people, medical doctors say, well, you'll just get used to it and live with it. Or an aging, you know, people that are aging and they're not aging gracefully and they want to be aging gracefully, they would come to me. Um, people that have pain that's not going away when they really want the pain to go away and they don't just want pain management, was, which is actually pills. Mm -hmm. So I can help them get rid of the pain. So with my, my diagnostics and my treatment, you know, naturopath, I'm a full full-fledged um, physical medicine doctor, so I, I can do acupressure, acupuncture, spinal alignment, joint mobilization, myofascial release, balance the cranium, balance the musculoskeletal so that the pain goes away. We also have pain laser therapies. We have detoxification therapies for people who have been on substances or on lots of medications that want to clear their system. We have, so basically, people that want to get healthy, it's not just about having a problem, I, a particular problem. It's about not feeling and living the life they want to live in their highest capacity because I believe that we can not exactly reverse the aging but we can slow it down and we can have a greater sense of wellness and feeling youthful and feeling alive and energetic without every year accumulating a little more fatigue or a little more weight or a little more achiness, why should we if there's way not to? So the people that come to me typically don't want to age. They want to feel good. They want to continue their life activities. They don't, they don't want to dry up. They don't want to have brittle bones. They don't want to be told that they're going to get osteoporosis and need a hip replacement. So I work with people of all ages. You know, people that just don't want to go the, the conventional way. They mm. just want to, they want to believe in their healing abilities to stay young and vital. Awesome. Okay, we're going to take our uh, break now. And when we come back, I'd like to talk about, well, I'd like to hear what uh, are two or three things that most of us need to know off the bat. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'd like to talk about your son's experience in theater and that sort of community engagement and what that does for us. Great. Yep. Okay, so we're going to be right back. Please stay put. This is Center Stage on the Think Tech Hawaii Digital Network. 
Aloha, my name is Josh Green. I serve as Senator from the Big Island on the Kona side, and I'm also an emergency room physician. My program here on ThinkTech is called Healthcare in Hawaii. I'll have guests that should be interesting to you twice a month. We'll talk about issues that range from mental health care to drug addiction to our healthcare system and any challenges that we face here in Hawaii. We hope you'll join us. For a very healthy summer, watch Viva Hawaii. We're giving you the best tips and with our best health coach here. So, Viva Health Coach. Viva la comida saludable. Hi, I'm Stephen Philip Katz. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist here in Hawaii, and I'm the host of Shrink Wrap Hawaii, which is on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock. Have a great summer. Take care of your mental health. Hi, we're back. This is Center Stage on the Think Tech Hawaii Digital Network, and I'd like to let you know that if you would ever like to join us in our downtown studio audience, you may do so. Just send an email to J, that's J-A-Y, at thinktechhawaii.com. If you would ever like to be on the show or you know someone that you think uh, I really should be talking to here, then please send me a message. I'm on Twitter at It's All About Donna. Okay, we're back with Dr. Diana Joy Ostroff, and um, Let's, t can you give us a few pointers that just about everyone could benefit from? Um, there's, there's so many, but I, I want to, because I started thinking about that when you said that, you know, stress is a very detrimental experience for the health of the cells. So stress affects not only the cortisol production and the ability of, um, of the body to regenerate itself and to um, experience state, state of wellness, but it actually will create a rapid degeneration. Mm -hmm. So, you know, ways to bring that stress level down are very important. One of the things that I know causes so much stress in people is when they think something is wrong with them and they don't feel that they're being heard or listened to or paid attention and that they're unsure whether they're doing everything in their capabilities to handle that thing and one of the and that's one of the jewels to my pr practice and my profession is that you know I want people to understand that they when they start working on themselves that they are doing something that's helping them and that w we're there's going to be a team effort to address the concerns and to start bringing them into the upward spiral of increased health because a cell it's our cells at ever any given moment are either degenerating or regenerating. We're either going in the positive direction or in the downward direction and even with our thoughts. So, you know, controlling those thoughts, realizing that our thoughts will create reality for our bodies and our health. So that's a, the, a huge one, you know, to think is to create and so to think along the lines of how do we want to experience the rest of our life? So, um, just getting that thought like all right I'm my mother lived to be 90 so do I want to age the way my mother did or do I want to age differently and then we have to start working toward that and so many things are important what's important air water food you know the the energy of the thought like I said but actually the health of the body so uh, if something feels like it's not right address it don't ignore it because when when one ignores it it snowballs it becomes bigger mm. it's better to find out and to deal with it than to ignore it because you don't want to know because there is time and as long as like I say as long as you're working on something that's improving that's all we can do right other than cut it out you know or medicate it and suppress it deeper work on it so that you know there's more than more than three but it you know a lot to think about that's good no thank you I appreciate that and um, you know, what you think it, it is so imperative to how you feel on any given day I, I um, one time I did a voiceover for someone I had to giggle and I felt so good when I got <laughs> out of that studio and the, you know the the artist kept saying oh, I'd like it a little higher a little bit like this a little bit like this and I found myself just laughing and I was having so much fun and it's just because 
Cause that cognitive dissonance right. made a big difference. Yeah. So th thank you You're for, welcome. My for pleasure. talking about that. Let me ask, um, do, uh, do most insurance companies cover work with you? Uh, that's an interesting question. Usually it's individually based. It depends on the insurance company. It depends on the coverage that people have. So, okay, so people shouldn't you know. let that hold them back. Go ahead and, and call. You know, and health is not a mm, insurance issue. Our, our health insurance is not going to keep us healthy. So whether or not the health insurance covers comprehensively is less of an issue than are we taking care of our health. You know, health insurance doesn't cover a lot of things, but mm -hmm. it's important that we take charge of what we think we need to do for ourselves. So again, it's individually gotcha. based. Some, some of them reimburse well, and some of them reimburse less well. Gotcha. Okay, it's definitely worth checking out that this is, um, is this the right camera here for you, Zuri? Um, Dr. Diana Joy Ostroff, Natural Healing Hawaii, and you can, okay. Um, well, we, you know what, yeah, it's, you go to Natural Healing Hawaii and you'll get that NaturalHealingHawaii.com. Dot com. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about uh, your son, because he has recently embarked on sort of a new facet of his life. He is playing Billy Elliot in the show Billy Elliot at uh, Diamond Head Theater right now. And he, he was a dancer previously, He I is understand. a dancer. He's been dancing since he was six. Oh. Started with hip hop. Oh. And um, John Rampage saw him on the stage of uh, Hawaii Theater last year when there was Kids for a Cause, which there were 10, ten acts of all the uh, children in Hawaii who auditioned. 10 were chosen. And they did a beautiful production at the Hawaii Theater, sold out production that made about $92,000 for kids that had uh, some disadvantage. Oh, wonderful. And um, John Rampage walked into the theater during the second act. He didn't have a program. He had no idea who the kid was. He saw my son dancing, and it was all over. <laughs> so he said he just made a mental imprint because he, you know, Billy Elliot was not not a show that was able to be taken off Broadway at that point. Mm -hmm. um, but John said he let, had an imprint there, and as soon as um, that show was released for off-Broadway production, he thought of Aaron though he didn't know who he was. Oh, so, wow. But he found out, and yeah. He found you. He found Aaron, and then he, um, Aaron really auditioned minimally. In fact, he, you know, as soon as John saw him dance, he just said, well, as long as you're willing to take this on, you have to learn voice, you have to learn tap, you have to learn acting, we'll help you, you know, with that. Um, it was just kind of up to Aaron whether he wanted to take it on, and it was cute because Aaron even sat in for the auditions to see how, you know, rigorous the, the auditions are for people, and um, it was good. I think Aaron's having a blast and getting some amazing experience. Yeah, no kidding. How old is he? He just turned 14. He just turned 14, and yeah, as a director, you don't do Evita unless you have an Ava Perone. You don't do Annie unless you got that little girl, and you don't do Billy Elliot unless you know you're going to have that young man. So good for John. Yeah. <laughs> good on John to know about that. Has he been surprised about anything in the throughout the rehearsal and production process? Well, let's see. That's a tricky one. Um, well, I'm surprised that he stays up till 10.30 at night at rehearsal because his bedtime used to be 9.15, so that's interesting. And, um, he, you know, he's a diligent hard worker, so sometimes he says, you know, I, sometimes I feel like I'm the only one, like, rehearsing back there when, you know, that he, he's really given it his all. He gives it his all 100% of the time, it seems, unless a couple of times he fell asleep. I think that took him by surprise. Um, no, I don't know. He's just loving yeah. it to, to no end. Good. I, I think that this goes along with our with the first 15 minutes of the show because this sort of work, this sort of community work and um, uh, constantly learning and developing your skills and relating to other people and working on a team. A show is definitely working on a team and working with authority because the director has the final say in everything and um, it's good for the soul to I think to be a part of that do you see that he's um, just, do you notice any changes in him as other than staying up a lot later <laughs> I don't want to push you he's pretty he's pretty humble but yeah. you know he's uh, coming home and he's 
he comes with the accent, oh. and I hear him saying his a few of his lines. And this morning he was singing some of the songs, and now and I know them all by heart now because I've been to about seven shows. Oh. <laughs> I can't get enough. I love it. It's an amazing show. And uh, so this morning we were doing a duet with the songs, and that was super oh, fun. Nice. But yeah, I can't stop thinking about him, dreaming about it every night. And, I'm sleepless <laughs> with excitement, honestly. Oh, that is so wonderful for both it's of you. It's so wonderful. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. It, um, he can't wait to get back this weekend because he had three days off and he's chomping at the bit to yeah. get back. That's the other crazy thing about actors is, man, you, you know, when you're working in community theater like this, you go and you do your rehearsals after your day job or school or whatever it is. You tack on another three to four hours right. that um, when, once you finish a show, you don't know what to do with yourself. But after you've had a gap between shows, you sometimes wonder where you, on earth you're ever going to find the three or four hours right. every night. Well, he gets up at six or quarter to six, and he, we leave for school at 6.30. Six He's at Punahou till 3.30 and then takes, does his homework and gets to the studio, Diamond mm -hmm. Head Theater, and he's there sometimes till 10.30. Yeah. So it's been really intense and um, I have to pack three meals a day, but I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> You're all enjoying it. Do you find that he is, um, I don't want to give away anything in the show, but do you find that he's bringing home some of the emotions that his character is going through? You know, Aaron's always been a dancer, even before this show. So he would just dance in the kitchen while he's opening the refrigerator. And, you know, <laughs> so that's just who he is. And he's also always been a little performing artist. I'm st we're having, he'll take a bite of food and he'll go do some cartwheels on the kitchen floor. <laughs> so it's just who he is. And um, is, is he taking it? I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. Um, no, that's okay. Yeah. I just wondered. Um, yeah, sometimes that happens with us actors. Yeah. Is you get, you get a part of your character comes home with you. And it goes back to the cognitive dissonance we were talking about, that if you um, you know, you spend a lot of time giggling. If your character on stage spends a lot of time giggling, you're going to come home in a better mood. If your character goes through a lot of struggle oh, when you I go see. through those motions. And this is why, I just have like 30 seconds left here, but this is why I think, you know, when people are complaining and, you know, everything is doom and gloom, they're just putting yeah, it in their bodies. Yeah, that. Yeah. Well, before we leave, would you let them know about my seminar, oh, free yes. seminar we're we'll having. a seminar coming up, uh, uh, Discover the Five Keys to Successful and Lasting Ideal Weight, Ideal Body, and Ideal Health. It's going to be on the 17th of October at the Center for Natural Healing, <laughs> and you can find the information on our website, Natural Healing Hawaii. It's free, and it's going to be wonderful. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I would like to thank you for being here. There's a few people here in the studio. I would also like to thank our floor manager, Rich Prakis, who's right over there. Thank you, Rich. Uh, Zuri Bender, our studio overlord, who is my ear, and Jay Fidel, who somehow manages to put all of this together. Thank you, and we will see you next week on Center Stage Wednesday at 2 o'clock.